Hi guys, so today we are going to talk about how to get inside your kid's head and their heart and by asking three questions to unlock your child's true passions. So what I want to do today is I want to um, tell you first about how to do this and uh, just kind of how I went about doing it a few weeks ago. So a couple weeks ago, I went to the best homeschool conference and it was actually an online conference and I just love online conferences uh, for so many reasons. One, you can be anywhere in the world and and connect with one. Two, you usually get um, really good resources without the overwhelm. So at a place that you can listen to something, digest it, and work with it, and then move on to the next thing fairly easily without uh, the fire hose effect, if you know what I mean. So while I was listening um, to some really great speakers, I was really impress impressed with um, the idea of getting inside our kid's head and in inside their heart to understand their true passions. And so the conference reminded me that we're all unique and we all have different styles. We learn differently, we process ideas differently, and we perceive the world differently um, from those around us as well. And yet we all have passions and we all have goals and we all have dreams. And we want that for our kids too, don't we? So we want to inspire our kids and to instill a passion for learning about and loving the world around them. And we've got to see the world, in order to do that, we've got to see the world from their perspective while we try to guide them with wisdom and understanding. So, you know what, here's what I did. I took some time and I asked actually some really impromptu questions. It was just kind of like this wild hair idea where I, um, it was kind of like a quality time. It was me and one of the kids. We were in the kitchen. We were getting things ready for dinner. And I just, we just started chatting and I said, all right, I got a couple questions for you. And so I asked them these three questions. What do you want to do? Who do you want to be? And what do you want to have? So let those sink in for a second and we'll unpack them here in just a second. So the questions were, what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? And what do you want to have? Um, and then I had a kicker question for them, which was, how can I help you achieve those goals? Okay, so when we were talking, we were cutting things up for dinner and doing all the prep work and everything. I was really careful to make sure that in our conversation that, that my son recognized and understood that we were not, get, not talking about selfish gain here, but that we were actually talking about what his true passions were and what his convictions were. And so, you know, those things, of, um, in the world that make you sad or make you angry, that you would like to do something about or help create change concerning those things. And then finally, what their talents were. And you know what? I was so amazed by his answers. My heart was so full of joy and my head so full of ideas to help them achieve their God-given purposes. And so what what we did is we it kind of... Um, lit the fire for me of creating a homeschool roadmap that's going to help them achieve those answers. And while I know that those answers may change over time, it gives us a point and a direction for guiding them to things that they are really passionate about and really love right now. And then we can build on those ideas as they get older and their passions change and their direction and their trajectory might change a little bit too. But we've already begun the conversation, so there's something to build on it. Because you know what? We all know that homeschool is a journey, isn't it? It's a marathon. And sometimes there are days and weeks and seasons where it feels like it's a decathlon. So with this idea of better understanding the journey um, that we're on with our kids and hearing about their goals and desires, I set out to pull all these new ideas together and I created um, to help me create a structure and a framework um, so that we could continue the dialogue for uh, more more times, more opportunities to talk about these ideas of what they want to do, who do they want to be, and what do they want to have. So I put together an eight-page curriculum list of all different types and styles of curriculum for kids from preschool to high school and I asked them then to go and highlight everything they wanted to learn about. 
And when I did this, I think I actually asked them to hide, ev highlight everything that looked interesting to them. But you and I know that my goal was to pique curiosity and inspire learning. So I may not have, I may have been a little bit sneaky about it. But, you know, and I wasn't at all surprised that neither of them picked anything math or language arts. I'll, I'll just be honest. Even though, you know, I find that they're really good they each have a talent in one side of that or the other, but that's not what they're they're really interested in. They're not, you know, dying to diagram more sentences or manic over doing more math problems. So, um, but those are the bare necessities of life at, at our house. And so the building blocks of critical thinking that we have to take those and we have to do those. But when it comes to their passions and their curiosities, um, when those bubble to the surface, when I used the questions and the curriculum list, it was a perfect way for me to match up in a tangible way how to access the heart of their curiosity and their God-given passions in a way that we'll be able to work as we run the race set before us and as we um, build a roadmap and keep that in hand as we journey together. So I want to encourage you to go on a coffee date with your kids, go on a hike or a walk or something where it's going to create an opportunity to just chat. Um, it could even be making dinner together, and that's a great thing that uh, that we do here. And, and I work with one of the kids, and we do that um, every once in a while. We'll make dinner together, and that's a, just a great place to begin asking a few questions, and then really listening to your answers. Um, your kids are amazing gifts to the world around them, and we want to ignite those passions and point them in the direction to achieve their goals and their God-given purpose. So um, you can get that printable. I've put it together to use elsewhere um, and for you guys to use with your family, but I wanted to um, just inspire you to go about having the conversations first. And then if you need more resources, I've always got them in the links, don't I? So you can find those in the links. But I really want to just um, help you gather the tools and the right questions to ask to help unlock your child's passions. If you're not, if you're not sure, then this is a really great place to start, to let them enter in the conversation. You may have your school requirements and your to-do lists that are in the back of your head, but how can you line those up with what they're passionate about, what they want to do, and who they want to be, and what you they want to have that's going to honor um, them as a person and honor uh, the, the world that they are going to be stepping into and participating in as an adult. So what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? And what do you want to have? Those are the three questions. Ask your kids. And then don't forget the kicker question, which is really important, which is how can I help you achieve these goals? And they will have some amazing ideas for you. And then as you step forward and look at different curriculum ideas, look at different extracurricular activities uh, that you want to do, or places you want to travel to, or things you want to bring in to um, accompany those um, other parts of your homeschool uh, journey and your education with your kids. Those are just some of the three or four questions that I ask. I try to do it um, at least once a year as I'm in that planning place with the kids and thinking, where do we want to go to next? Because we can't just build it all around math and language arts. Um, even though those are really, really critical subjects, we've got to bring those um, to life by um, asking the, asking questions and then seeing how do they want to use those, their skills in the world as they grow up and enter into a career or um, travel or whatever is laid before them. So ask the questions, see what the answers. I would love to know uh, how it helped you, what kind of conversations you had with your kids and your family and how, if it helped you point um, you in a new direction that maybe was unexpected or that it confirmed what you already knew about your kids and helped you uh, set the next, uh, I guess, the next leg of the race in this journey that we're on. So have a great day. Um, ask those questions and uh, I would love to hear the response of what kind of answers you've gotten from them. All right, we'll talk again soon. <music>